Welcome back everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and today we're taking a look at the 2013 Ford Shelby GT500. Now this is based on the 5th generation uh, standard Mustang which was 8 years old by the time this was released as that was released in 2005. And uh, yeah this replaced the 2010 to 2012 GT500 and has various improvements over that version not just more power and more torque. But it also has a uh, re removed front grille due to uh, needing extra cooling. It's also got twin fuel pumps, larger fuel injectors, a grippier and large, larger diameter clutch, a larger fan, a free row intercooler, a beefed up uh, six speed manual transmission with an internal oil pump, a single piece carbon fiber drive shaft, a larger front uh, disc brakes from Brembo, uh, reinforced axle tubes and it also has aero tweaks to help deal with the fact that this car is insanely quick at the top end and uh, yeah I really really like this uh, version of the GT500 it's probably my favorite version of the GT500 that we have on this game uh, I'm not sure if we have any other ones that uh, would be classed as a GT500 uh, from previous Forza games or on this game uh, I know we had the older version of this and one from the 60s but we've not not had all that many versions of the GT500 unfortunately but it's definitely one of my favourites probably favourite in terms of modern cars I do really rather like the uh, classic one from the 60s though but yeah in comparison to say the likes of a uh, Dodge Challenger Hellcat which granted has more power than this and more torque I find this to be a far better looking vehicle it's also a lot lighter at 3,898 pounds so uh, yeah it's a good four five hundred pounds less while uh, yeah, just also looking better and uh, yeah, being a generally more usable car on a day-to-day -day basis because yeah, 700 plus horsepower in a muscle car is a lot to ask for and even more so when you're de dealing with the Demon with more than 800 horsepower whereas this, yeah, 662 horsepower is a lot but it does come across as more manageable in this car than it does in the likes of the Challenger and I do really rather like a Camaro as well so yeah Mustang and Camaros are my uh, go-to when it comes to uh, modern or classic muscle cars. Though I do really rather like a classic Challenger, which might be why I'm a little bit biased against the new ones, because I just don't think it quite gets the spirit of the uh, classic one around uh, across, unlike, say, this or a Camaro. And uh, yeah, engine-wise, this is phenomenal. It's got a 5.8-litre supercharged V8 engine, producing 662 horsepower and 631 pounds feet of torque which is a huge amount of horsepower and uh, yeah pred predates the Hellcat by a couple of years so uh, yeah this was the first mass production muscle, muscle car to break 600 horsepower and it's about 140 horsepower over the previous GT500 and a massive 162 horsepower over the uh, original GT500 that was also based on the 5th gen standard Mustang so uh, yeah hugely hugely powerful car and as a result it's massively quick as well so let's get out onto the open road and just see how quick so yeah with all of that power and torque it's easy to break this uh, rear uh, end rear wheel drive muscle cars traction uh, especially in a low gear and coming out of a slow corner but if you're careful you can uh, get this car to handle really rather nicely and it certainly handles a lot better than the uh, Challenger Hellcat does doesn't brake quite as well, I think probably because it is a little bit older, the braking technology isn't quite as good as it needs to be for a car of this, you know, speed and weight. But yeah, in every other aspect this car is pretty much quicker than a Challenger. Uh, so I'll just let you uh, listen to it for a little bit and then we'll talk about it some more. So yeah, it's got a massive supercharger, but thankfully that supercharger whine doesn't overtake the whole of the uh, engine noise experience, but it is still a glorious sounding supercharger whine nonetheless, and uh, yeah, that, you know, V8 rumble underneath of it, it just really completes the picture really, and uh, yeah, it's stupidly quick as well, 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds, 0 to 107.713 seconds, and it goes to a top speed of at least 201 miles an hour. I imagine if you're going downhill and you've got a bit of a breeze behind you, you're going to be doing more than that. And uh, 
yeah, that is quite a uh, hilarious top speed to be honest. Con considering it was only you know about 30 years prior that you were able to get to that kind of speed in a Ferrari F40, which had to be you know stripped out, you know, slow slung, no weight, no creature comforts or anything like that, and yet not long uh, after really you have got a uh, comfy, well equipped muscle car that has the same capabilities as that F40, and that just shows how much. You know, technology and engineering and all that lot has uh, progressed in that kind of time that this car is as quick as an F40 when it comes to the top end. Uh, granted, I'm not going to say this is as good as a, a car in terms of handling as an F40 and it's certainly not going to be a, uh, a car that is ever going to go for the kind of money as an F40 but yeah, it is you know, quite a uh, strange scenario to have a muscle car that can do more than 200 miles an hour. Now sure, a Hellcat can also do more than 200 miles an hour because it has more power and I'm pretty sure Demon probably can do that as well if the gearing is right. But uh, yeah, this is quicker to 60 than a Hellcat by 0.1 of a second. Hellcat is slightly quicker to 100 by about 0.1 of a second. But I think the handling on this evens it out a bit. Especially because it has so little in weight in comparison to that Hellcat. So it just feels more nimble. It feels more able to be trucked around. It's more happy at the limit than a uh, Hellcat is. As you can slide this around all, all day and it's, it will just hang in there whereas I feel like a Hellcat with all of that weight being, you know, trucked around it feels like it's going to have a pendulum effect so if you lose it one way it will just go the other way and you'll end up, uh, you know, spinning out or anything like that whereas, yeah, this being slightly lighter it's certainly not a lightweight car but being slightly lighter certainly helps in that regard and, uh, yeah, it's just a glorious car to drive and, uh, yeah really highly recommend trying it out if you haven't already so yeah I'm just gonna take it out onto the motorway so I can show you off its top speed which is still yeah mightily impressive even by today's standards never mind eight years ago so yeah we're already doing 160 the thing is even though this does have six gears that six gear really isn't necessary because even in fifth gear we can get up to 200 miles an hour which again is quite hilarious to be honest and in a lot of ways you can think of this as an Aston Martin uh, V8 V600 really because that also had a big V8 supercharged and could do these kind of speeds and acceleration really but yeah this clearly doesn't have the uh, luxury of the Aston Martin even by today's standards but as you can see doing more than 200 mile an hour there 203 in fact so yeah you definitely can get more than 201 201 202 there about this is about what the official top speed is but yeah you can definitely get more and there's no doubt you know room for upgrades and the like as well to make it go even faster if you so wish but yeah standard version of this is great and uh, yeah in all honesty I think it does beat the Hellcat in a lot of ways I know the Hellcat has the number 707 going for it and the name Hellcat which yeah is a great marketing uh, ploy but at the end of the day I don't think this that would be much faster around the track than this would be because it this does handle better and is more manageable at the limit and is able to manage its power more of the time as well which is why it's slightly quicker to 60 because it's not you know constantly spinning its wheels for instance nonetheless though thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye